Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So we're in Kilkenny and this is St. Mary's Old Graveyard. Some of the, the stones, I believe, are back to the 13th century. There was an excavation done on the area some time ago. Um, so we are going to have a look at some of the headstones and there's something very interesting I want you to see. This is a beautiful headstone. Sacred to the memory of Sophie, Sophie, it looks like actually, the beloved wife of Sir Charles McMahon, 1874 there. So there is a number of tombstones lying flat on the ground. A lot of these stones aren't very readable at all. Here lies the body of Charles Ryan. He was only 25 when he passed in 18, 1819 there. So from what I gather, the ones that are boxed are, I suppose, preserved. As I said, there was an excavation done here. So some of them were um, boxed up at that time. This one looks interesting. It's like a, an angel just there carrying a cross. Another one there. Quite hard to make that out. It says here lies the body of Thomas Sweeney, Sweeney who departed this life. This is 1779. Looks like 46 years old when he died. So this place closes um, quite early. And we've been avoiding the rain. Lovely designs on that chest tomb there. But unfortunately, some of them are broke. But as I said, funding has run out somewhat. There was a huge excavation here. And I'd say... They haven't much left, but you can just note that, you know, these ones are preserved, boxed up. Some of them have timber up against them. Some of them just have like um, a wrap around them. Beautiful high cross there. It's Louise Scarlet Holden. Holden. Beloved wife, is it? Yeah, of George Holden. Um, 18... 86, aged 81. So these are the ones I'm talking about. This one just looks like um, it's wrapped. Just to try and preserve it as much as they could. So we are right in the heart of Kilkenny. This one has timber just around it. Sacred to the memory of John Huxley Fitz Simon. Simons Esquire. Uh, into rest. October, October. Uh, 1860, and in the 57th year of his age. A beautiful St. Mary's there. So you can actually get a tour. You go inside there. Um, the lady at the desk was quite kind enough to let us come out to the graveyard. So if you are in Kilkenny, this is the place to come. It's Kilkenny, just, Kilkenny Castle just up the road. Another beautiful one here. Look at that, so unusual. This one has beautiful designs all around it. And I'd imagine that's a crest. Crest, yeah. crest there, I'd say. Looks like um, armor. 
ね。More boxed off chest tombs. Remains of Michael Wall of the city of Kilkenny. 1783, age 67. So I'm not going to delay too long. Um, it's going to rain. But just some interesting things I want to show you. So this was a mausoleum, or is a mausoleum. And just inside, we have two like chest tombs. One there and one on the other side. Huge structure actually. I'm just stand back to show you. Look at that. Looks like Nicholas Carwin. Any date? Don't. It's very, very hard to read these now, unfortunately. No. The coat of arms up above it. So we're going to go in here. So you can see all the rocks there are numbered. And we've more here. We've three, four huge chest tombs. Another beautiful coat. Coat of arms, our family crest there. Built in the 12th century as a chapel for the then newly constructed Kilkenny Castle. By 1205 a large church was in its place. Its central location within the walled town was carefully chosen for its prominence and even today when one looks out over the town from the castle. St Mary's was amongst the largest and most prestigious parish churches in medieval Ireland for over 800 years. The church was a hub for the town reflecting the fortunes and spirituality of the townspeople. The graveyard possesses a rare and significant collection of tombs. The church was closed in 1957 and it has been converted into a modern museum. In 2016, during excavations inside the church, the excavations revealed startling and internationally significant new discoveries on a daily basis. A suite of previously unknown, finely carved stone burial monuments, private family chapels, burial vaults, with their coffins largely intact, and a large number of artefacts, all preserved intact underneath a clay floor that was raised above them in the 18th century. Curie's discoveries within the chapel were Roman coins from the second century AD and two guns that had been hidden beside one of the tombs. The interior of the church is a honeycomb of burial vaults, many of which appear to be connected with other great Kilkenny merchant families. The archers in the south transept, the shees and the nares boroughs in the chancel. Some of the larger burial vaults contain the remains of many individuals. Their coffins were made from oak and pine and finely executed with studwork and velvet. Four medieval skeletons were also found during the dig. All of the skeletons were female. There were two children aged around eight years old, a young adult in her teens to early 20s and an adult aged around 25 years old. The earliest burial found was that of a child. The child had probably been of the first Anglo-Norman colonists who settled in Kilkenny. The child died in the late 1100s and William Marshall, who we've often heard about on this channel, later built his church over the remains. Now we do have more burials off out there. She said that these are newer to these ones. That is quite amazing, just to see that there even. But we're going to have a look at the mausoleum of the She family. So just there, guys. I'm going to see if I can get my gimbal in, get a better look. 
that right there is actually a lead coffin or what's remaining of a, a lead coffin there. We have another tomb in there. And then we have some sort of detail there, I suppose, to describe who's actually in the mausoleum. But what's really, really interesting, and I'm not sure why, this tiny little door is beneath this tomb. And it's a newer door. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe they excavated underneath the tomb rather than, you yeah. know, trying to break into it, if you know what I mean. You I see just there, that's part of the lead coffin. And then up above again, we have the full lead coffin. I'm going to see if I can. I think these chest two chest tombs here, the Shea family, were, were put, placed here on top of a vault. Okay. So that's probably a vault underneath where those chest tombs are. So there is the coffin, guys. Wow. Just there and the bottom of it then. So yeah, I suppose that's Just where there. Really it. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Very, very interesting. Now, I wanted to show you this as well. It's beautiful. It's like an altar. Lovely designs going across. And then here, I think these might be the apostles, or maybe saints. It's always hard to know, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So I hope they do get more funding to keep this place. There's a lot of writing on that. It's all, I think it's Latin. But uh, the lady did say some of the burials here are from the 13th century, but one, I think I just read from 1110. More beautiful designs. We're looking at here now, guys, is the, um, the she tombs and uh, the she family private burial place. It's quite amazing, really. I'm just saying there as well about the, the mausoleum. It was destroyed by a fire, the interior of it, in 1859. Where does it say that? Just this here. Oh, yeah. So it looks like it's called Narsborough Mausoleum. Uh, there were another important Kilkenny family, and they built this mausoleum in the late 1700s. It contains numerous skeletons in coffins. A fire destroyed much of the interior in 1859. So I'm wondering, uh, that's number five. So would that be it out there, the Nars family? Because I think all this is just the she family. So this could be the Nars family just here. You wonder how a fire started in there, wouldn't it? Yeah, you would actually. Or is it purposely done? We'll have a look at this big monument here and then we're going to wrap it up as I said the place is closing and uh, I don't want to outstay our welcome they've been very very kind to let us in here it's just like a huge obelisk isn't it look at the top of it all the trees kind of growing out of it and it has been quite busy so I'm glad that we got in here before they closed just to show you what an amazing place Kilkenny is. Very historical. That one even, 1779, just there. Aged. There's a one, only one, 1779 aged, just one. Here lies the body of Mary, Mary Pratt, who died. First, 1779, aged just one. Wow. And there's Elizabeth there as well, sister of Mary, I'd say it is, is it? November 1780, aged just six. Oh. So quite a sad one there. But uh, as you can see, they have restored St. Mary's Church, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Sister, baby, here, yeah.
So guys, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. The rain is coming. We're closing up, so we've got to go. Um, absolutely gorgeous here, very historical. So guys, take care. God bless. And I'll talk to y'all again soon.